Hi, this is Dr. Bill from Chicago Integrative Movement Specialists. Today we're going to be extending our talk of basic stabilization exercises. From previous videos I had shown you some basic starting positions based on a developmental model of exercise where we went through some basic movement patterns of shoulder and neck stabilization. Those patterns that I described were usually found within the six week old to month and a half old baby. Today we are going to progress on through that to show you some shoulder stabilization exercises that are more of a mature position, more of a three, four, five month old position. We're also going to be extending some of the positions that Sarah and Rebecca had shown in previous videos. Um, specifically, that dead bug position that Sarah and, and Rebecca had shown previously were more of a three month old developmental position. Today, we are going to go through some hip stabilization patterns that extend that position out further to the four, five, six month old mature position. These are more side positions and they are going to extend that reaching movement pattern, that reaching stabilization pattern that's very important for the hip and the shoulder. So let's get started. First position we're going to show is a three to four month old position on the side and it is specific for shoulder and neck stabilization. The position is we're going to be starting down here. We're going to get our weight onto the outer surface of our downside shoulder. So I'm going to make sure my weight is on there. The actual movement of the exercise is a progression of support from the downside shoulder to the downside elbow. As I do that, my arm is going to turn down and over, and the top side arm is going to be reaching up and out. So I'm going to be transferring weight from the downside shoulder to the support elbow. The exercise of the movement looks like this. And slowly down. Again, we come up, hand turns over, arm reaches forward. Now you can see in this position, my shoulder is posterior. I'm not hiking my shoulder forward. It's not slumping forward. It stays behind my body. And I slowly roll down. This again is more of a shoulder neck stabilization exercise and it is a little bit more of a mature position than the prone coming up position or the prone reaching position. Second position is more of a hip stabilization pattern where we have the same side downside leg and shoulder supporting basis of our support right now is this downside hip and elbow. This again is another reaching exercise. The main point of this exercise is to transfer weight from this downside hip to this downside knee. We're going to transfer weight by beginning to reach across and come up. By coming up we're, we're transferring weight to this downside knee and reaching. A progression to this exercise is actually reaching through with the upside leg as well, which will look like this. And down. One more time we're transferring weight from that downside hip to the downside knee. After showing the exercises, this leads us to the question of why are we performing these specific movements? The answer to that question is that usually pain, stiffness, lack of range of motion, arthritic conditions, degeneration are a result of abnormal movement patterns and abnormal muscular function. These positions are based on a natural developmental model of movement. These models of movement force our muscles to reflexively contract in a natural normal manner. This is different than other types of exercise that might make your muscles contract in an abnormal way, putting different types of forces through the joints, causing pain, lack of range of motion, stiffness, and problems in the joint. These positions give you the best opportunity to contract and stabilize your joints and move through a pattern in a natural way. They are the very basic foundational positions for all movement. Therefore, these are the types of exercise we suggest as a starting point 
at Chicago, at Chicago Integrative Movement Specialists, and that's why I showed you what I did today. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions, my name is Dr. Bill.